Welcome back. Well, I finally got some time to work on my propagation chamber or germination chamber, whichever you want to call it. So what I've got here are just some standard racks that I got from Menards. And I've got those set up uh, with three levels. So I can set my trays on. And then on the top here, it'll come up to about there and then I'll have uh, my seating station on top of that and this will have two doors on the front that will swing open another two over here and I got to insulate it and put the frame around it and then these two back chambers can't really see anything there back here I left this area open back here and I'll have um, a crock pot here and one at the other end and those will be for heating um, it's very simple you just use a crock pot and a uh, thermostat and that'll generate enough heat in there and then in the center I'll have another crock pot for humidity and that will just uh, have a thermostat of its own and that will get the humidity and temperature right. And then on this cavity here, I'm going to be putting an AC unit in there. And that will keep it cool for this summertime. So right now, germinating is, is a challenge with this heat. So that will take care of that, hopefully. So I'm going to get working on this. And... Just going to get a throw out to uh, In the Field Consultants. I bought one of their little video series on uh, building all you know, different ones like refrigerators and different cabinets. And it was like only $37, but I'll try to put a link in that uh, in the description. And it was well worth it. Just, just for the recommendations they gave on some different electronic thermostats and combo units um, and then they gave links for to where to purchase those so that was worth it just saving time just doing that so I'll try to link that in the description so let me get uh, framing on this here and see how far I can get here tonight oh um, the number of trays I can stack four across just at one level on all the racks so that'd be a total of 40 trays I can get in there now typically I stack my sunflower radish and pea and I'll stack those about four high so I'll be able to get four um, 1632 on those bottoms and then my upper ones I can double stack those if I want to a lot of times the smaller seeds I don't stack uh, but I might try it in here just to see how they how they do but uh, as you know as a lot of you probably know um, stacking those um, there's benefits one it saves you space but more importantly like sunflower you stack those about four high and a brick on top of those and that helps uh, strengthen the sunflower as it grows and it'll be stronger and it will also help crack the shells off of those so you don't have as many sunflower holes sticking on there and then some other seeds like oh radish it's a bigger seed and it will like you'll have one that will start germinating sooner than the ones around it and it will actually pull those up out of the soil and they won't germinate so um, having some weight on those helps make those germinate better too. And with a chamber like this here, hopefully they will all be germinating closer to the same time and won't have a, that much of an issue with those. So, all right, let me get framing and see how far I can get here. Okay, well, got back working on this. So this is where I'm at. Got some framing on it. Um, so that's how it's going to look. These two front here, there'll be uh, two doors here that'll open out, and then two there out 
open up so it'll give me plenty of access to get trays in there then on the top here of course we'll have insulation all around the inside and then on the top also and then on top of that some ply board and then some uh, drain fabric because um, the top will be my seating table so this will be I'll be able to seat them right there and then just drop them down and stick them inside there and I got air conditioner sitting there so that'll blow right into there so I'm sure I'll do some experimenting on that to see temperature and all that but that that should work it shouldn't have to run all that much with it being insulated but it it gets pretty darn hot in here in the summertime and then like I said earlier the winter time I'll have some crock pots setting inside down here in the back I'll sit there in the back and that will heat them I guess they don't it doesn't take a whole lot to heat that area so and then it'll be a third crock pot that will uh, be for the humidity and I've got uh, thermostat controls ordered for those so I'll probably mount those maybe up here or in the back somewhere I can see them easily and check on them so that's it for now I got a We'll get some other stuff done and then hopefully get back on this and get this done this next week here. So, thanks for watching. Any comments or suggestions, let me know. Thank you.